When operating your trimmer or brush cutter, always use protective glasses, hearing protectors, sturdy shoes and protective gloves. All our two-stroke engines are designed to be easily started using the following procedure. The fuel must be mixed with a good quality two-stroke oil. If you are using the universal powered by McCulloch two-stroke oil, the fuel mixture should be 2%. That is, 100 milliliters of oil to 5 liters of petrol. If you are using any other two-stroke oil, read the producer's instructions carefully. Make sure that the protective cover is mounted before you start your machine. Angle the machine so that the trimmer or blade can spin freely. Check that the stop button is in the ON position. In most products, the stop button automatically relocates to the ON position. Before you start your machine, cold or warm, you must press the primer bulb of the fuel pump fully at least six times. Our products are fitted with three different kinds of chokes. These will now be demonstrated as follows. On this model, there are two positions. For the start position with a cold engine, you must pull out the choke. Pull the starter rope until the engine fires once or starts running. Then shut the choke off. If the machine stops, restart the engine. Pull the choke out again and let the engine run for a few seconds before you apply the throttle. When starting a warm engine, just pull up and then press back the choke. The engine will then be in the start throttle position, which makes it easier to start. Start the engine and let it run for a few seconds. Give a burst of full throttle and the engine will then return to its normal idling speed. This choke has three positions. Full choke, half choke, and run position. Press the primer rubber bulb for the fuel pump. Put the choke in the full position. Pull the starter rope until the engine fires once or starts running. Then move the choke to its half position. If the engine stops, restart the engine again and let the engine run for a few seconds. Then reset the choke to its operating run position. When starting a warm engine with this kind of choke, you set the choke in the half position and pull the starter rope. When the engine starts, let it run for a few seconds before resetting the choke to its run position. This choke has a wheel, which must be turned to the start position. Turn the wheel to the choke position. Pull the starter rope until the motor fires once or starts running. Turn the wheel to the run position. If the motor stops, pull the rope again and when the engine starts, let it run for a few seconds before you apply the throttle. To restart a warm engine, just pull the starter rope. All our machines have a sticker showing the starting procedure. The red symbols indicate how to start a warm engine. When operating your machine, you must always wear protection against any objects and debris thrown up from the trimmer. Always use protective glasses, hearing protectors, gloves and protective clothes. This is extremely important.